sim racing category. We see NASCAR getting involved, even the teams at some of the top levels of the sport. It's amazing. Technology is uh, taking off. A lot of the world is just going online now. Virtually every young driver that we have today are racing online. And aggressive move right there by Christopher Bell to kind of come down, block there on the inside lane. It's really difficult in NASCAR to get a real sense of what those drivers are doing. You can get some of those senses when you're racing online. I think it gives you a good idea about racetracks and different kind of cars and how they drive. You can understand the setups of the cars, so that might mean tire pressures or the way the springs or shocks are set up in the car. Control is really one of those critical elements to the entire experience. You're able to control all of the variables, all the aspects. You can adjust the setup of your car, the way that you drive it, whether you want the steering wheel to feel different. You have those things coupled with speed, and that's what you have in order to have a good experience overall and to compete. I know how he started racing, on a computer in his bedroom back in Charlotte, North Carolina, and his name is William Byron. For me, gaming and iRacing was kind of the first thing that I started in before I got into to real cars. Byron is the Xfinity Series champion! William came from the iRacing world, won the Xfinity championship, and is now driving the 24 car. That shows how realistic it is and how you can grasp hold from the sim world to real life. To experience these tracks before they get on to the real thing is a huge advantage. There's some racetracks like Watkins Glen or places that I have maybe been to once that I want more laps on before I go there, which is really important. It's hard when you only go there once a year and it's a road course and you're shifting, kind of refresh your memory a lot. NASCAR is limited testing and drivers are looking for different ways to get seat time, and that goes a long way for short in the learning curve. Yeah, mixes of drivers who have raced just on the sim and having their opportunities here tonight to showcase what they can do in the eNASCAR Ignite series. Coverage is important for us because it allows us to really find talent everywhere, and whether it's the eNASCAR Ignite series with iRacing, whether it's our peak series, we've got the 50 best sim racers in the world competing. These are options for them now. Any chance you get to have a platform to kind of show people that you can drive well, that's important, and you don't have to necessarily be in a real car to do that. Everyone has an opportunity to participate in the sport, regardless of where you're at. Having that coverage is, is certainly important. For the ultimate in-home NASCAR experience, Xfinity X5 delivers the speed and control you need.